place is called the roadside for a good reason. It's literally right beside US 422. My main man Kean over there. Um, we're gonna go check this place out. So this is the menu for the roadside. Um, got your address and everything. It's an interesting place, I'll say that. Uh, so their big, two big things are, uh, gosh, if you can see that, I don't know. Pizza and uh, burgers. And they got some great options. I mean, for their burgers. Solid bread, I mean, it looks like. A lot of cheese options, a lot of toppings. So, you know, we each got a burger and some fries. We'll see how it goes. Check back in a little bit when the food gets here. Howdy friends, welcome to another episode of Brandon Tries Stuff. As you, excuse me, may have seen from the intro, we're at the roadside. Actually, it's not even a the on the sign, it's just roadside. So we're at roadside. Uh, Kian. Hi. And I are on our way to Indiana, so we stopped for some food. And uh, I heard this place is good. So we went in and got burgers. So they come with kind of like seasoned fries and what they call Pittsburgh pickles. If I'm guessing, which I am, I'm thinking the Pittsburgh pickles are kind of like a half bread and butter, half dill kind of thing. But we're gonna try all these things right now. So first, Pittsburgh pickle, classic like a uh, burger sliced pickle. Mm. It's pretty dill. Yeah. It's got kind of. If this is part bread and butter, part dill, it's like 85% dill. But there is some of those little notes of those, some of those like bread and butter seasoning. So maybe it's got a little bit of that in there. Fries. It's got some of their house uh, seasoning on this said. Uh, crinkle cut variety. I'm not going to lose my mind over those fries. They're fine. They're just fine. Anyway. Okay, now the burger. Uh, half pound burger, it says. Brioche bun. A lot of options, as you may have seen, for uh, what you get on there. I got mine with Havarti. Uh, le lettuce, tomato, lettuce, tomato, and onion. And uh, here we go. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. You got a serious amount of juice has dripped down onto the bottom of the bun. Gosh, I hope you can see that. Maybe, nope, not a chance. <laughs> Under the bottom of the bun. Got a little bit of pink in the middle. That's a pretty well-cooked burger. That's not an easy thing to do. So let's get a bite of this and see what we think. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. I don't usually have to go for two bites, but I feel like I do. It's a good burger. That's a real good burger. Average fries. Pretty good pickles. Nice burger. Ah. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful day here. There's snow on the ground. Uh, Wednesday, it's Friday, and it's beautiful out here. So I guess I'm feeling nice. Uh, the roadside. Ooh, it's a little pricey. This is quality, but it's a little pricey. So I'm going to go uh, B plus. B plus, but come. Um, they, some of the other stuff may, may, you know, may be even better. So it's worth a check for sure. And uh, I may have been a tiny bit harsh with the B+, but it's a good, solid place. I'm worthy to check out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to y'all soon. So I am still at roadside, uh, sitting by US Route 422, and I had to get on to video my retraction. I was way harsh with this place. Uh, there's no way in crap this is a B+. This place is good, like really good. After getting through that burger, uh, you, you can't get a burger like that anywhere here. That's what I know of. Um, it was excellent. Quite excellent. Um, 
B plus was a terrible grade. I should hang my head in shame. Uh, this place deserves an A. It's worth it. It's really, really good. So if you're uh, between Elderton and Indiana on 422, absolutely stop. Totally worth it. I can't speak about any of the other food, but it's a darn good burger. Uh, Definitely check it out. Sorry about the initial score roadside. Please forgive me. Uh, that's it for now. Check you all later.